Hello and welcome back to uh, Sebastian the Panicked, <laughs> the Evil Within 2. Uh, we dealt with the first of the paintings just now uh, that we have to destroy to presumably just get through the gate. Uh, now we're on to the second. Um, it wasn't that difficult, but it was an interesting challenge. Well, challenge is a little bit of a strong word, but yeah, still. Still sort of nervous that it's just going to randomly drop some enemies on me for fun. For its own amusement. You know, I have to say, I mean, obviously it has something to do, uh, some, some, a not in a substantial, ugh. it has a not insubstantial part, it, it is not insubstantially related to the fact that the whole thing is based on sort of, you know, it, uh, the horrors of suburbia, but the, just having a horror setting that is not only suburban, but also green, that isn't entirely, you know, destroyed. I commented on it, you know, not everything is dirty before, but the, like, I just was walking by this flower and I was like, who the fuck puts a flower in a horror game? And it's like, th this game does. <laughs> Shinji Mikami does. Well, I can't even give Mikami credit for this because Mikami, you know, was doing the first one. This is mostly directed by somebody else. Mikami's just a producer, but still, like... Just unusual expectations. I have no idea what Mikami is even working on now. Um, I suspect he's probably he's probably well into his forties at this point, so he may be on the like. Let's finish this. Japanese businessman leadership position track now, rather than. Uh, uh, oh god. That was good. That was real good. Just like, seeing the corner of it, it was well done. Anyway. Oh, Here no. Again. Oh, no. Don't, don't want, don't want that. Those are spooky. I thought the fact that it was blinking meant I could interact, but it's just the key going around. Well, there's our objective. So where's our friend? Yikes. All right, let's get this key. All right, this should get me close to that art. No, don't stand Shit. up, idiot. I didn't tell you to stand up. I'm not even sure it's actually here. Or if it's just random noise. Nope, there it is. No, no, I'm not here. 
I'm not even here, dude. I'm not even here. Apparently, I have iframes. Oh, no, not once I get to the other side, though. Fuck you, asshole. Hopefully, I'm done with those things for a while. <sighs> Come on. The stuff hitting me through doors is pissing me off. Should have turned my light on in the other one, but it keeps turning my light off and not keeping it on, and it's starting to piss me off. Maria Crane. All right, so it still looks like I have to get to the back of her. I, I assume that's not me. Surely it would have. Sebastian go into some fucked up convulsions if he was tripping something. Or immediately fail one or the other. Enter the theater. That's both of them. Should have done the trick. Better head back to the theater and see if I can get in. Better head back to the theater and see what kind of fucked up presentation I'm in for. It does seem lighter out all of a sudden. Also, I think there's another graphical glitch because that arm should not just be randomly floating. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think it's supposed to, is it supposed to be this light out? Maybe it is. It doesn't seem like the same kind of glitch that was causing that uh, the fog thing, so maybe it's intentional. It's just that that cutscene where the Thing disappeared. It was not this light out. Weird. Um, you know what? It's probably been time enough. I'm gonna go drink more coffee. Got my coffee? Got my coffee, man? Did you drink all the coffee? Ah, bastard. All right. Um, it still bothers me. I can't look at my resources other than going into the thing. Um, I don't think it's relevant. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I guess this... Well, I don't know. I guess the fog wasn't fixed before by me uh, walking in and out. I had to reload the whole game. So maybe it's still broken. Maybe it is broken. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. The whole thing's weird. This place is bizarrely well designed for a place I can't go into. Like, some graphic designer did a lot of work on this thing. Oh, there's a ladder. Do I have a way in? Wait, no, I was up here before, right? Yeah. I guess I just didn't realize it was this building. All right.
For a second I thought that was all f Well, I was gonna say for a second I thought it was all feet. It's at least partly feet. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of the stuff is. Sort of expected there to be something fucked up in that pit, but... Nice. It's nice that this place is ADA compliant. It's good that uh, Mobius are equal opportunity kidnappers and murderers. <laughs> Here we go. What are we going to get? Well, it's awfully dark outside for it being almost daylight in that cutscene. Uh huh, and no way out. All right. You've got to be in here somewhere. Uh, we can certainly hope so. Oh, chapter eight. I thought we were on chapter six before. Maybe I missed the prompt for. You dare to destroy my work? You expect me to bend to your will? Just like them, thinking they could sculpt me into what I am not. What they created in here, it's marvelous. They wasted it because they had no imagination. Because they are not artists. They want to control me, manipulate me. You want to stop me, but you have failed. Because with the power of the core, I can create my art forever. I'm sorry, ma'am. A large popcorn is twelve ninety nine. How do I get over to that Fuji do? Let me get my Fuji do. That keeps glinting like it is something, but it's not. I'm still trying to throw fucking flares. Uh, oh, maybe this door? One of these? It sure is foggy around here. Why is it so foggy? Somebody smoking in here? This is a no smoking facility. Stop. It's the name of the show. All right. It does sort of like, I like the look of these hanging rags. I think I mentioned them uh, in an early episode as well. The fact that they appear to be two-dimensional is a shame. And while I understand that, like, cloth physics are still a, a very early, you know, there's something that's still uh, games game engines struggle to actually create and render, like, this would be a... Like, they look great until you see them from the wrong angle and you realize they're, they have zero dimension to them. Like, yeah. <sighs> you know what? This is a little bit shorter episode, but I think I'm going to call it here. And on the next one, we're going to enter the theater proper. Here we go, Stefano. You asked for this.